See, in just a bit, Don, after being delayed by weather and nearly stopped by sequestration, the Kearsarge Amphibious Ready Group is now headed out to sea for a seven-month deployment. As Tony on your side's Art Kahn tells us, naval commanders are ready to go, even in the midst of the budget battle in Washington. The USS San Antonio was the first vessel in the Kearsarge Group to leave Naval Station Norfolk. This is only the San Antonio's second combat deployment. Uh, San Antonio is in the best shape of her life right now. And for now at least, the San Antonio and the other two ships in the Kearsarge Amphibious Ready Group are in better shape than other vessels in the fleet when it comes to the budget battle confronting the Department of Defense. None of our funding was ever affected by the sequestration. Uh, this is our scheduled time to deploy. Hi, Daddy. But according to a report from the United States Naval Institute, the Navy had considered deferring this deployment, but opted instead to keep just one aircraft carrier stationed in the Gulf instead of two. Is the idea here to just maintain some balance between the carrier strike group and amphibious ready group? It is. We, we want to make sure that there's one of each. Beyond 2013, the Navy's strategy regarding the deployment of amphibious groups like the Kearsarge is uncertain in the absence of a budget. Now, as we move forward, whatever we do at the end of this year is going to dictate what we, you know, what kind of presence we're going to have in the future, and there's going to be a lot of discuss discussions about that over the course of this year. For the sailors and Marines in the Kearsarge group, the mission is the only thing on their mind. Their families, however, have other things to think about. Tonight at 6, we'll hear some of their concerns about the new normal in the fleet their loved ones serve in so proudly. At Naval Station Norfolk, Art Khan, 10 on your side.